Are you an entrepreneur or small business that has a service, product, course, you name it, that you're having a hard time getting sales on? Stick around, guys. I'm going to give you two sales strategies. They're going to help you explode in the new year. Welcome back guys, we are back with a Monday morning video. It's Monday, we're pumped, we're ready to go. But today we are switching it up a little bit. I haven't done a sales oriented video in a, I don't think I've done one yet on the channel. So this is a first. So if you are an entrepreneur or a small business, I do videos Monday through Saturday, typically around small business or being an entrepreneur or being self-branded. And it's anything from social media all the way over to sales. <laughs> But the reality is this, uh, if you're an entrepreneur or small business looking to grow this year, this is the channel for you. Stick around, hit that subscribe button, hit that little bell so you can get the input every day. Oh, Dan's got another video up. But without further ado, today we're talking about two sales strategies that are amazing, proven, and effective that will help you land more sales real quick. All right, guys, Leonardo DiCaprio. That's number one. Here we are. No, seriously, Leonardo DiCaprio, Leonardo, man, that's a tough one to say. Leonardo DiCaprio actually came out and was the lead actor in the movie Wolf of Wall Street. And for the most part, you guys have seen it. Um, you know, it's filled with drugs and partying and escapades and all kinds of nonsense like that. But the gentleman in the movie uh, that Leo is showcasing did some bad things in his life. Wasn't always a great guy. He'll own up to that. But the reality is this. He came up with something that was quite pointed and quite simple. And it's a sales concept that some of you may be familiar with already. Some of you may not. So I'm going to give it to you simple. Here it is, all right? So picture you've got a start. Uh, maybe we'll do it the other way. Picture you've got a start and a finish, okay? Start is when you meet your client. Finish is when you end it, all right? So the simplicity of it is this. Every sale consists of three points. Start, negotiation, conversation, whatever, end. It's that simple, okay? Why is this so revolutionary? Well, the reality is when you go out there, if you go to a sales course, conference, event, you speak to a guru, a mentor, a leader in the industry, whatever, oftentimes the systems, processes, and concepts that get attached to effective sales get blown completely out of proportion. It turns into this massive list of first you've got to do this and then this and follow up with that and then head over here and do this and then you've got to have this. And the reality is when we complicate something that is super simple, you actually end up losing a lot more sales. And there's a lot of stuff out there, guys, that'll say, well, you've got to have seven points of contact with somebody before you'll convert. It's not true. It's not true. The reality is this, and it's not a complex one, okay, guys? Step one, let's start with the start. Whoop, we started over here. Let's start with the start, okay? Start. The first thing we're going to do is we are going to get out there and we are going to engage with people, okay? Whether this is in face-to-face, -face, so in person, you're meeting people, you're knocking on doors, you're in boardrooms, you're in meetings, wherever, Skype calls, even I'd call that face-to-face, -face, um, you are talking to somebody face-to-face. -face. You see them, they see you. Uh, social networks or on the phone, whatever it may be, but some direct point of contact where you're having a conversation with people. This does not include uh, email marketing, uh, social marketing. There's all kinds of other videos I'll put at the end of this video for that kind of stuff, guys. I'm talking literally about a connection with people face-to-face -face in conversation, okay? That's our start point. Next, you literally start, and this is a golden nugget. Write this down. If you've got your handy-dandy post-its that I recommend, keep those by your side and write this down. And look, I've got it right here. Here's the post-it that I've got to constantly remind me. Are you looking? Are you looking for X, Y, or Z? Whatever your product may be. Let's say it's, uh, I don't know, uh, milkshakes. Are you looking for the tastiest milkshake? That is the simple introduction that you're working into. You have to right away ascertain whether or not the people you're having conversations with are interested in your product or not. The reason why this is crucial to this sales strategy is this. The concept is don't waste your time trying to make a no into a yes. Just find the yeses, okay? And that seems counterintuitive, that there's opportunity out there and, and you can, you can uh, have conversations and develop relationships and, and over time you can, that's all true, I'm not negating that. But to be effective and gain sales, it's easier to convert a yes than a no. 
That's just a reality. So we've got our introduction. We've met the people. We've introduced the offer. Are you looking? We're having our conversation. If it's a yes, great. Move on to the last step. If it's a no, see step one and repeat, okay? Last step. Last step, guys, is convert. Are you looking? If the answer was yes, go great. I've got the greatest milkshake you've ever seen and here's how it is and here's how we do it. So buy in, here it is, and you convert. Don't let this opportunity pass you by. This is a single conversation. You move from find a person, talk to a person, convert the person. Rinse and repeat. If you get a no in the middle, you head back to the start, start and find another person, work your way through the scale. That's it for sales strategy number one. It's called the straight line strat. Well, start over here, straight line strategy. It's that simple. There's a lot of people that like it. There's a lot of people that don't. I am giving this to you as an opportunity to see a sales strategy that's been proven. It's worked. It's built massive businesses. A lot of people have seen a lot of success from it. I'm not introducing it to you as the only way to get sales, but it is an effective means that a lot of people avoid because it involves one, being face to face, two, being direct, and three, being willing to let people go. Just let them walk off. All right, guys, so that's number one, the straight line strategy. Okay, next up, we've got our straight line strategy down. Bam, done, okay. Step number two, this one is a personal one. Other people may have something similar out there, but this is one personally that I've used in the past, and it's the 100 no strategy. So you've got your post-its, write that down. I don't have it written down because I created it and it's mine. Copyright, patent pending, yada, 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 et cetera. But the reality is this, it's the 100 no strategy. So it works in parallel in some ways with the straight line strategy. You don't have to use one or the other exclusively, but the concept is this. A lot of the times when you are out seeking conversions or sales, you're too focused on the conversion and not on the process. And this is true for a lot of successful people. They will tell you this. Don't focus on the results, focus on the process. This YouTube channel is an example of that. I'm not focused on subscribers, links, comments, likes, hearts, reshares, none of that. I am focused on a video a day for a year. Video Monday through Saturday for a year. I am focused on the process, not on the results. The results are going to be indicative of the process, if that makes sense to you guys. So the reality of it is this, when you head out and you're seeking new sales, new clients, new buyers, new whatever, what you need to do is abandon the focus of conversion. I'm not worried about conversions. What I'm worried about is hitting 100 no's. So let's say whether you're an entrepreneur, small business, heck, even if you're looking for a job, this is a great policy, okay? So your strategy isn't how many yeses you receive. Your strategy is to set down, focus, and go, okay, I'm in sales mode. I'm going to go and pump this out until I hear 100 no's, all right? One of two things is going to happen here, guys, all right? The first is you're going to hear 100 no's in a row. Okay, that's the first one. If you hear a hundred no's in a row to a product or service that you think is amazing, you got a problem. It's just in your head that you think the product is amazing. It's not. If a hundred no's come in back to back to back to back to back, you've got to refocus, reconsider, remarket, rebrand, refigure out everything. That's the reality. hundred no's in a row, you got to go. I'll make a t-shirt or something that says that. But moving on. So that's one of the possible results is you, you, you dish it out there to a hundred different potential customers, clients, whatever. You get a hundred no's back. Okay. Product or service is no good. The other option is this. You're going down, you got, you get to the hundred and you know, you've got your hundred no's. Okay. Check. I did that. But I got four yeses along the way. Awesome. That's what the strategy is built for. That you got four conversions is awesome. Could have been 10, could have been 20, could have been 30. That's true. I'm not negating that there's opportunity to close more contracts that are to, to acquire more sales. That's always true. You can always improve your pitch and how you're reaching out to people and yada, 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 especially using that straight line method where you're focusing on yeses. But if you're focused on the no's instead of the yeses, it will keep you moving. Okay. It will just keep you going and you're not focused on who's the yes until you're done hitting all your no's. Okay. So hopefully you can grasp the value in that of great. I got a contract. I got a sale. Move on next. It's constantly pushing you forward to the next. That's while you're in sales mode. Now, hopefully you land enough sales that you don't have to stay in sales mode. I know for me, when I go into sales mode, I have to land two to three contracts. That's it. So I know I've got a two to 3% conversion chance that I'm looking for. That's not really that tough to hit on a hundred. If I'm getting a hundred no's and I'm getting three yeses 
and that's all I need, great, that, that's money in the bank, right? The last thing that can happen is this, you won't hit 100 no's because you have so many yeses, okay? Let's say uh, you somehow were able to fabricate something that gave people bitcoins, they just gave you a thousand dollars and you give them a bitcoin, okay? And you could do that, you could do that today. This doesn't exist, caveat, doesn't exist. Don't look for a link, it's not a real thing, it's hypothetical. But let's say you could do that. Clearly, if you could give somebody a Bitcoin and they could give you $1,000, everybody would take that deal today. It, it would just happen. It would be a, a confirmed sale. You would nail it. It would be done, right? So what you would do is you would start off down your list. Yes, 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 yes. Nothing but ceaseless yeses, okay? Now, what I can tell you is uh, maybe say you only had 50 Bitcoins and you weren't expecting 50 yeses in a row. Well, you'll hit the end of that 50 Bitcoin sale and go, I don't need to keep going. I hit my sales target, I hit what I wanted to hit. The no's are there to drive you forward regardless of yeses until you hit the target that you were hoping for, okay? So I know for myself, I'm aiming for two to three clients, I've got my 100 no's, I'm zoomed in, I'm focused on that. But I may hit 25 proposals and three of those come back as yes, I stop. I don't need to hear the other 50 no's. That's it for me personally. I know what my time constraints are, I know what I have to hit. If you're somebody that sells a product and you've got a thousand of the product, well, maybe it's a thousand no's you've got to hear. But the reality is the no's are there to drive you. They're not there to act as an inhibitor. They're not there to act as a, uh, a final benchmark. They're there to help you assess, evaluate the, the successfulness and the demand of your product or service and drive you forward even when you hear one or two yeses. Also, they're there to drive you forward when you hear no. It's a very useful strategy as an entrepreneur or a small business to be able to, to hear and process no's not as a negative thing, but as a forward step. That's it for today though, guys. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. The question of the day is, which of these two sales strategies would you best implement? Which one do you think is gonna serve you the best to nail sales in the future? If it's mine, I'm honored, thank you. If it's the Wolf of Wall Street, so be it. I won't take any slight on that. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Again, hit that subscribe button and the little bell. You can get me here Monday through Saturday with daily videos of this nature, and I will catch you tomorrow with another great video. See you then.